Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much to all of the love that I got in on my last foundation review. I tried out the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Blur Foundation and um, spoiler alert, I really really like this one and I have been using it so much since then. If you want to check that out, I have it linked up here. And as you guys really seem to love the foundation reviews, I got in a new foundation. Also, I don't really find that many foundations that come out that interesting, but apparently now is a good time for it because the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation I saw online and it caught my eye, let's just say. It is such a pretty packaging. This is how it looks on the outside and as you guys probably already know they have a good apple foundation in a pan for like more dry skin and i think this is more normal to oily skin which i am so without further ado let's just try this foundation out and see what we think of it i got the shade 12 light yeah that's right prepare yourself because this is so pretty I don't know, do you guys think this is pretty? Because I think this is really cute. <laughs> it's a little bit, you know, like KVD, gothic, um, gothic kind of vibe. And I really like that, even though I'm not very gothic, kind of look like it today. By the way, oh my God, if you have not seen this hair uh, tutorial that I did, inspired by early 2000s Christina Aguilera, check it out because I'm so, so happy with this hair. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> again, the packaging, really, really cute. It's kind of like transparent up here, the black. So you can see the cap. Now, hopefully you guys can see my skin a lot better. Uh, if you have not already, click the uh, uh, 4K quality, if you have 4 4K at least. It makes the biggest difference, so you can actually see how it's applied on my skin, if that makes sense. So as always, I'm going to start with a primer on one side, and this is the The Body Shop Hemp Serum in Primer. Uh, and I'm gonna use this on, let's just try it on this side. Uh, or you know what, I'm actually gonna try it on this side because this is very moisturizing. And my problem areas with my skin is usually my smile lines right here. And uh, I think I would need a little bit more moisture there and hopefully that could help. I hope you guys are okay with the black background again, by the way. I know some of you guys don't like it, but I just think you can see my skin more clearly because it just gives me such contrast to my very white pale skin. Um, so I think my camera just picks up my skin a lot better. It said to shake it, so let's do that. And now let's see if this is a good shade match. I think it might be a little bit too dark for me right now. Yeah, it might be a little bit too dark for me right now, but probably great, like when I'm a little bit fake tanned or during summer, I think at least it might be too dark even for that, I don't know. <laughs> but now let's just go ahead and use the um, sponge at first. I'm gonna do it as I did it last time and do the beauty blender all the way here and then the brush here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the unprimed side. Let me just hold a brush right here so I can see how it is applied. It is looking really, really nice right now. I mean, it said serum foundation and it really feels very lightweight. Why I haven't tried the other uh, good apple foundation is because it is looking so thick and I usually don't like that sort of foundation formula on my skin, but this is looking and feeling very nice actually and super glowy and then for the brush as you guys know i usually 
do my foundation with a brush it's just quicker and for me it's just better <laughs> I don't know okay I might need a little bit more And let me go ahead and use the rest of it down my neck. I can't really see any difference with application for the brush and the beauty blender. I think that the beauty blender is just like, I don't know. I don't love to use beauty blender for foundation. I love to use the brush and uh, as it looks exactly the same, really pretty on both sides, then I would for sure go for the brush from the prime side i mean we might see a difference after a few like hours or so maybe that it is a little bit more glowy than this side as i said i thought that it would be a matte finish but i just looked it up on my phone and on their own website it by the way it comes in 40 shades which is amazing. This is what it says on their own website. The good apple serum foundation is a real mind fuck, which I love. <laughs> Full coverage with a natural finish. There we go. It's not a matte finish. It is a natural finish. And I would say that it is. Uh, and very full coverage. I have not used a lot and it is full coverage for sure. It also says that it is transfer proof extreme long wear with a lightweight serum feel. It also says that it is very good for warm weather conditions and it is ideal for a oily to combinational skin tone. And of course it says that it is cruelty free and vegan. Let's see if it is transfer, transfer proof right now. Nope. It is for sure not. Uh, but maybe it dries down in a few minutes. We'll see. But now, of course, we are going to put other makeup on top of this because that is pretty much the real test if other products work with this formula. So I'm gonna go in with the uh, Magic Concealer from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is one of my favorite. Some Wonder Stick from NYX Professional Makeup. A little bit like that and a little bit like that. The nose. And then we are also going in with the Rem Beauty Cheek and Lip Stick in Audition, which I tried in one of my latest videos. And this is so, so pretty. I've been loving it. There we go. Now let's just blend it all in. And I am just gonna set my under eyes, my forehead as I have bangs, and I don't wanna have to wash them like every day <laughs> because that's what happens if I don't do this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit right here. So like that. This is uh, set with powder and this is not set with powder. As you guys can see, the under eyes is very um, different. I just realized that I have to uh, go in with just a little bit of highlighter to finish the base off. Even though it is very glowy still, as you guys can see. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit on the higher points. So here we have the base all done. I have had no issues with any of the products blending well on top of the foundation. Absolutely love the finish of it. It is, as I said, quite glowy. Here, for example, I don't know if you can see, but it's a very like natural glow and I'm really loving this like matte-ish kind of velvety finish of it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a very natural, I want to say, makeup look. We'll see what I come up with but uh, I don't want to do anything too crazy so the base doesn't like stand out. Um, so no graphic liners for today. There we have the finished look and I must say that one thing that I've noticed I'm very, very impressed about, and that is my smile line. There is a line right there, but not at all as visible as it usually is with a lot of foundations. And uh, I have not touched it at all. Hopefully it will keep 
looking this good throughout the entire day. Um, now I'm gonna go out with Tebow, which unfortunately, or good, I don't know if it's good or bad, but it is a snowstorm outside. And uh, that might be a good test, but it might also ruin <laughs> the makeup. So we'll see how it looks after that, but I will check in with you guys in a few hours. I am confused. Look at my smile lines. It looks so good. Like, I wouldn't even do like a touch up here. It's so not noticeable and it usually is. I can include just a snippet of uh, the, when I tried the uh, NYX Professional one. You can even see my lines right here more than you can right here. I don't understand. Something is not like it used to be. And I am very happy about it, but I don't understand because I have been out with Thibaut and it has been snowing and raining on me, like snow rain. Uh, it's windy and uh, it is looking so good. The only thing that I have done touch-ups is uh, after lunch, I did apply the lipstick and the lip gloss again, but I have not done any touch-ups with the foundation. I've not gone in with the beauty blender or anything. And the only thing that I can really say is that you can see my line right here a little bit. And then, I mean, just the tiniest bit of line right here but it usually is way, way more. It is looking so good still. So that is it for now. I am not gonna do any touch-ups because I wanna see how it looks in the end of the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go about my day, sit and do work things by the computer, eat dinner. Um, we're gonna watch Last of Us, the last episode. I'm so freaking excited. And um, then I will be back before I take off my makeup to see how it looks. So that is pretty much it. I am not going to do any touch-ups right now. Um, I am going to remove my um, hair extensions though uh, because it is hurting my head. I absolutely hate clip-ons. But yeah, I'm not gonna do any touch-ups because I wanna see how it's gonna look in the end of the day. Um, with no touch-ups on my, my lines. Like, if it looks good, this could be my favorite foundation. My new favorite foundation. Because I am very impressed right now. So, see you guys in the end of the day, right before I'm taking off my makeup. And we will see how the foundation looks then. Oof. I'm so tired and I'm so sad that the last, the last of us episode is now done watching and I am so tired and I'm so sad that we have now watched the last episode of the last of us and we now had to wait like, I don't know, probably a year or so until the next season. But we're not going to talk about that today. We are going to uh, look at our makeup and you guys are seeing this first because I am not watched yet, but I'm gonna. Um, okay. I mean, excuse all of this, but this is very impressive for me. I usually have a really, really like strong line right there when I'm wearing foundation. Very, very impressed. I don't get it. Like, I really don't get it. This might be the first time I actually see this happening. I know I am usually quite positive with my reviews because I usually don't try out things that I know that I'm not gonna like. Uh, but this foundation, I'm so impressed. First of all, the entire like base, like all here, it is looking really, really pretty. I would say that right here it has 
um, been removed a little bit because I usually when I go out I have big collars and I have scarves and stuff like that so it is a little bit removed right there but not at all a lot <laughs> and just the cheeks are looking so pretty it doesn't even look that um, oily like you can see right here on my nose you can usually see where I have gotten a lot of oils during the day as I am very oily but it just looks pretty like right here as well or you guys can see that I have a dimple it's usually like a lot of uh, foundation usually gets like put in there <laughs> and I don't know it just looks weird in a few after a few hours <laughs> yeah but this it's looking so good. I'm not 100% sure when I started this, uh, but I would say that I've had it on for maybe 10 hours now. And the, uh, the look is, like I would say that this is so pretty. It is quite expensive, but if it keeps on doing what it's doing right now, I would say go buy this for fucking sure. It is so pretty and I'm so impressed. And I have been through two snowstorms right now. Uh, walking Tebow. Okay, lastly, I just want to include, uh, uh, as I still have this like fresh in my memory, when I tried the NYX Professional Makeup blur foundation uh you can see side by side here how the foundation is looking this is looking so much better now like it is looking so so pretty and you can see the smile lines on the other uh with the other foundation it is such a difference and i think that was also around 10 hours or so let me see <laughs> i want to see how it looks when i pull up my bags Okay, not that weird. I, w I thought that it was gonna be, well, kinda. <laughs> you can see my um, skin right here with no foundation. So that is it for me today. I am very, very impressed. I'm sure that you guys are gonna see this foundation be worn by me so much because I am really loving it. Like I'm actually going to France in a few days and I am 100% gonna take this one with me. Uh, I'm going to the Alps, yes. So I think it's going to be a perfect foundation for that. So yeah, let me know if you are going to try this foundation yourself. As I said, it is quite pricey, but I would 100% recommend it still if you have similar skin type as me, like an oily combinational, some fine lines that usually gets um, gross after a few hours. It said on the website that it was like ideal for warm weather, but as it is very cold weather here in Sweden, I would also say that it is quite good for that as well. So um, yeah. So that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you want to check out more first impressions reviews, I have a playlist right here. So you can go and check that out. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and hopefully we will see each other in the next video. Bye guys.